In this video, I will show you how to dual boot windows so you can optimize one for gaming and performance and the other one for productivity or for more gaming as you wish. Dual booting windows allows you to optimize your windows even further without having to worry about breaking it which will of course give you a lot more performance, boost your FPS and lower the input latency in all games. If you wanna support my work, please don't forget to leave a like on this video and let's get straight into the topic that is how to dual boot windows, optimize windows for performance and productivity. You can find timestamps in the description or you can just skip to any chapter that you desire but I wanna first talk about why you should dual boot. Now just some quick advantages of dual booting windows is that you can optimize one windows completely for gaming and the other one completely for productivity or office use as you see fit. You can use two completely different versions of windows and use custom ISOs which are stripped for gaming purposes only. Now there are a ton of custom ISOs which I think I will be making videos on in the future but for right now I'm pretty sure that you know the ones that you want to use or if you don't you can go ahead and join my Discord server i have my own iso but there are a ton of others that you can find in the useful servers section also dual booting windows allows for more options for experimentation with new tweaks new data gaming performances and all that good stuff you don't have to worry about losing data assuming it's on another driver partition by installing new version of windows so that's another plus point for dual booting plus many more benefits that you will see for yourself when you dual boot so with all of that out of the way now we get to the topic how to actually dual boot windows it's actually pretty simple and i have a complete written guide on it but i'm gonna walk you through all of the steps necessary to dual boot windows you can go into the description of this video and click on the link for the how to dual boot windows guide by Reknetic. now there are some requirements that you need to match before dual booting of course you need some free space which at minimum should be 60 gigabytes but i would recommend 100 gigabytes if you plan on installing more games and stuff like that another thing that is not mentioned here if you are dual booting then you should make sure that you are installing both the windows on your ssd now this is not a thing set in stone you can go ahead and install one on ssd and one on hard drive or if you don't have an ssd you can go ahead and install both on hard drive but as i assume all of you should know by now that ssds will give you a lot more performance than hard drives so that is the reason i recommend installing your os on the ssd and the games that you regularly play on the ssd as well the other requirement is of course a copy of windows a windows iso or a custom iso which is pretty easy to find and all of them are free and then there is the usb drive that you will need to set up in order to install the windows so we're gonna start off by preparing our USB. So the first thing that you guys want to do is go ahead and plug in your USB which I have right here. The minimum size of the USB needs to be 8 gigabytes, and any more than that is of course pretty good. Up next what you want to do is go ahead and download Rufus through this link. Then go ahead and select the ISO file that you want to install. So in my case for just for the demo I'm gonna show you guys my own rec OS. So go ahead run the Rufus as admin. Go ahead and select the USB drive. Click select. Then go ahead and browse the ISO file that you downloaded if it's a custom windows a windows by microsoft or anything it will come in a .iso file extension so all you guys need to do is select that click open then what you want to do is set the gpt set the system file type to ntfs and then just go ahead and click start what this is going to do is actually go ahead and burn the iso file onto the usb drive so we can go ahead and install windows using our usb i'm gonna go ahead and let this complete in the background while i show you guys how to go ahead and prepare the partition for the dual boot so in order to do that we move on to the next step that is making the partition so what we do is hold down the windows key and press r at the same time then go ahead and type in disk mgmd.msc hit enter and this is going to open up the disk management utility inside of here you guys will find your hard drives and your ssds so for me this one is my ssd this one is my hard drive and this is also a partition on my hard drive now for this case scenario i will make a partition out of my hard drive just to show you guys but but as i said i do recommend installing the both of the os's on your ssd for better performance all right so what we are gonna do next is shrink our hard drive so that we make a new partition and then set its size and all that good stuff so what we're gonna do is right click on the partition that you want to shrink go ahead and shrink volume once this opens up we need to enter the amount in megabytes and you can just go ahead and google search m megabytes to gigabytes or gigabytes to mb and then what you do is if you want to set it to 100 gigabytes go ahead and copy this number if you want to set it to 60 gigabytes just go ahead and copy it and then go ahead and paste it inside of here once that is done go ahead and click on shrink i have the virtual disk manager disabled so that is the reason i am getting an error but for you guys it will shrink the volume and then you should be good to go you can go ahead and follow along these pictures to make a new drive and the process is really simple and easy then we move on to installing the os now i assume that you have prepared your usb with the rufus method that i show right here you have made your partition using this method that i show right here and then we move on to installing the second os 
all you guys need to do is just go ahead and make sure that your usb is plugged in go into start menu press the shift button and click on restart obviously i'm not gonna do that as i am recording and i don't have a capture card so i can show you the method but i'm gonna guide you through with these pictures so once you do that you will need to go ahead and click on use a device which will then go ahead leading to using your usb drive now keep in mind that this method might not work for some people so you can use an alternative that is the boot menu key for your motherboard all you guys need to do is go on google and search for the boot menu key and then go ahead and type in the name of your motherboard so i'm just gonna go ahead and type in msi z390 just for reference and it will show right here it's f11 so shut down your pc restart it and while it's booting up just go ahead and press f11 and it will go into the boot menu select the usb drive from there and then the installation process will begin all the processes are very simple if you want a detailed guide on how to install windows then go ahead and check out this video of mine in which i go into much more detail about installing windows setting it up and tweaking it and all that good stuff so once you come to the select installation drive just make sure that you select the drive that you newly created using the disk management utility just go ahead and select that and then you will have the new windows installed it's that easy and that simple once again guys i highly recommend you to always dual boot windows because it just provides so much advantages compared to booting just one window but at the end of the day it's all up to you and your decision my job is to make sure that you know what you are doing and to help you get the maximum out of your pc if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments i will try to reply to every single one of them and also guys make sure that you subscribe to the channel because a lot of you watching the videos are not even subscribed so yeah just make sure that you do that right now also if you want to get more fps and optimize your windows 10 then this video right here will help you completely optimize windows 10 for gaming and performance so make sure to check it out